Hi everyone, welcome along to the studio today. It's going to be a very exciting day for me because I'm going to share how I create my pod beads with you. So when I refer to a pod bead, this is what I'm talking about. So it's a nice elongated bead with kind of beautiful tapered ends and um, I find these beads really, really versatile. There literally is so much that you can do with these. So I'm going to show you in this first video how to create the pod and then how to create a range of variations. So this is the first lot of variations. There are actually lots that you can do which I'm going to cover in subsequent videos. So there's going to be more videos after this one. I just wanted to show you this little guy because I refer to this as a sea urchin spine, which it is, and this was the inspiration behind some of the shapes that I create. So when I refer to um, you know a sea urchin spine shape, that's kind of what I'm talking about. So I just wanted to show you that because I have confused some people in the past with that one. All right, so let's just put these to the side. Let's get those out of the way. And I'm going to show you how I start to create my pod beads. So I'm simply going to start by running my clay through the pasta machine on a medium thin setting. And I'm working with a mix of Kato and Primo clay. The reason I'm doing that, I'll explain it to you. The reason I'm doing that is because I like the mix of the two clays together. I find Primo is way too soft. Kato can be sometimes a little on the firm side. So by mixing the two together, I get a beautiful, delicious, <clears throat> excuse me, consistency that works really, really well for creating these beads and manipulating the shapes. So on we go. That's why I use the mix of Kato and Primo. So I've got my clay run through the pasta machine on a medium thin setting. And I don't know if you saw me, I'll do it again. I cut a bevel edge. So simply cutting the clay on an angle I then remove it from the workspace so it's easy to tweak this end and roll it up. So my goal is to achieve a roll, a log of clay like this, but I want to do it without any air in the middle. So if I was working with an ultra sh thick sheet of clay and I had cut a straight edge, it would be quite difficult to do this process. So this is why I create a bevel edge and then I create a nice log of clay. Bit of pink in there, not really worried about that too much. And I could have cut a bevel edge, but I'm not going to worry about it because my clay's on the thin side. Uh, it's going to be really easy to kind of just join these up together here. So this is always how I start. So when I create any type of bead, this is how I start most of the time. There are certain ones that I don't start this way, but we won't go into that quite at the moment. All right, so let's start by creating the basic pod shape. Okay, I'm going to cut some of this and I'm not going to worry about the jagged edge. And I'm just going to manipulate this shape and you'll notice my clay works quite easily. And I'm just going to compress the clay, smoothing a little as I go, but I don't need to stress about that too much because it will get smoothed out in the um, shaping process. So kind of create pointed ends already. If we have too blunt an edge, like if we're working with this edge, we need to make sure we taper it before we start shaping these beads. All right, so let's just get all these out of the way. I'm actually going to start by rolling on my work surface and I'm using this part of my hand. So I'm not going straight across, I'm on an angle 
and I'm simply rolling this way. You can roll back and forward. <clears throat> you can um, pretty much do it however you want to do it. Sometimes it's easy to drop it into the palms of your hands and roll with your hands together this way. Sometimes it's easy to use an acrylic block to roll this way. And in fact, this can create some nice effects as well. But sometimes your work surface is your best friend. And I'm simply going to create a little pod shape, tweaking up as I go. And look, it can <laughs> they can be so simple to make quick and easy. That's what we love about them. Once you get the knack of making them, they come together very quickly. So this literally took me like 30 seconds and it's pretty much done. So this is what I refer to as a pod bead. And once you have created one pod bead, <laughs> there is no end to what you can do. So I'm going to put this guy to the side and I'm going to pull this in again. And I'm going to show you a couple of the variations. So the very first thing I do is pull the ends in so that they are pointed. When you do that process, you need to make sure you don't capture air in the end. So we just kind of tweak it out like this. Let's just get that seam smoothed over a little. And I'm going to roll on the work surface and I'm going to taper one end quite long. So I'm going to be working on my little sea urchin shape or my spine. So one end, I'm going to taper quite long. So you can see it's starting to kind of come together already. And the other end, I'm just going to, and this is where this one can come in a little bit here. And notice I've got the acrylic rod on an angle. And you can kind of create, if I just use that to soften the top, look at that beautiful shape. So we've simply gone from this one to this one. So, nice and easy little process. Let's do a different color. Let's pull this one in and I'm just gonna do a very nice elongated taper. So you can see this one here. Uh, these two are both just a variation on the sea urchin spine shape, which is quite beautiful. I do love that shape actually, very lovely. All right, so I'm gonna pull this one in. And I'm just gonna do a really nice elongated pod, a nice tapered pod, which is incredibly versatile and I will be using it a lot in the next video, which will be the curves and coils. Sticking with the pod shape, but curving and coiling them. So this clay is quite a bit firmer than the other clay, which absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna pull in, sorry, pull these out of the way. So I've got some room here and simply roll on the work surface. Remember, I'm just using this part of my palm in this process. Okay, so I'm gonna work in the next one now. So little bits at a time and then have a look. A little bit on the middle, have a look and see how you're going. So stop every now and then and see how you're going. This clay is holding its shape so beautifully well. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, if you want to create an ultra long taper, you can kind of keep going, but if you hold one end, it can kind of help you a little. So I'm creating an ultra long taper on both ends here. Right, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I love these. So really, really simple process to create some delicious pod beads. 
But wait, what if I've made this too long? So I think, hmm, I'm not sure if I like it that long, although I love it that long. I'm not sure I like it that long. I think I wanna make it a bit shorter. So you don't have to chuck this away or scrunch it up or whatever. Simply compress your clay. And because I'm working with a nice firm clay, it's a really easy process. So I'm just pushing it in. I'm pushing this hand and the clay in this way. So look how I've managed to shorten that up already. And if, you, uh, if your ends are too sharp, fold them over and scrunch your clay up together like that. Oh, let's keep him that long. So I'll just, that's really all you need to do is just compress your clay and all is not lost, you can reshape from there. So simply on the work surface again and reshape. Although I do like the very long taper, so we'll just give it a nice long taper again. And back the other way. So lots of different ways you can create a simple pod shape just by tweaking up a few little things during the uh, the you know the rolling process so there you have it that is our very first um, video on working with pod beads and creating these gorgeous pod beads and as I said I am going to be creating more videos just showing variations on what you can do with this basic shape. So keep a lookout for those videos. Okay, that is it from my studio today. So thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Thanks guys. Bye for now.